All right, so I think I have a little bit more time. I can record um, a little bit more. So I wanted to tell you maybe a few things about me that you didn't know. I am 29. I just turned 29 in January. And um, I got to this point where I wanted to get the surgery. Um, I'd say back last summer, I realized that I had gotten so heavy that there really wasn't much I could do. Um, I tried everything. I'd failed at all the diets. Um, exercising is hard when you get to be this big, and I do what I can, but I've got a lot of knee pain, a lot of back pain, um, and I get out of breath really easily. So I try to take little bits at a time, but as you all know, it's really hard. So what I did, actually, um, I took a huge step out of my box, and I applied to be on NBC's show The Biggest Loser. Um, I made a bunch of videos, and I applied with some friends. They were looking for teams of two at the time. Um, and I actually got a call back from a casting producer, which was really cool. And I was super excited. And I honestly thought at that point in time that this was my way out, that this was going to be the thing that was going to get me to where I wanted to be. And that, you know, everything in my life was riding on me getting on that show. Um, so needless to say, I didn't make it and it was devastating. Um, from that point, I guess my family and my friends kind of rallied around and, um, tried to pick me back up and help me on my way. So now here I am. Um, I know that I need help. I know that I can't do this by myself. Um, but at the same time, I have a lot of motivation and I'm ready to do it and just be done. I don't want to be, um, I don't want weight to be my issue for my entire life. It's been my thing for the last 29 years. It's been the one thing that holds me back from doing what I really want to do, from, um, you know, being active, from going hiking with my boyfriend and, you know, things like that. It just, it holds me back and I don't want to be that person forever. So I figure I've had the first third of my life to enjoy food and now I want the last two-thirds of my life to be about life so I guess that's where I was when I made the decision to have the surgery um, I know a lot of you can probably sympathize with me and you've been there so anyway I'm just at the beginning of this journey um, my surgery is April 6th I'm gonna be going down to Puerto, Vi Puerto Vallarta and that's a whole different story I mean how I got to that place where I needed to go to Mexico to have the surgery done but I feel like at this point, I made my decision. I am perfectly confident in my choice with Dr. Hoya as my surgeon. And I'm not, I'm not scared about going to Mexico to have the surgery done. I guess I'm just scared about everything that happens afterwards. So, um, yeah, I'm going to need the support. And I, I feel like I've been watching these YouTube videos. I've been watching, you know, Massage Goddess and um, Magooner Bar and... Um, uh, melting mama of course she's hilarious um not so hot girl oh and by the way girl you need to change your name because that's not even true anymore because you look great now and you should be proud of yourself but um anyway i mean there's a lot more that i watch but i feel like everyone in this little community has given me so much support so much more than you'd ever know um i don't know any of you you don't know who i am and to this point i've you know, maybe posted a few comments on a few of your video blogs, but um, I've been kind of this faceless, you know, person that sort of is just out there. And now I just want to introduce myself and say hi. Hi, everybody. And I'm here and I'm going to be part of your little group. So hopefully I will be on the loser bench soon and I'm really excited to be there. Talk to you later. Bye.